We've got a pop superstar in the studio tonight. Erasure frontman Andy Bell is here to tell us all about his legendary career and we'll ask him what he reckons of his chances on Pop Star to Opera Star. Uh, time to meet tonight's guest. He is part of one of the most successful British pop acts of all time. It's Erasure. Andy Bell's vocals helped the group reach record sales well in excess of 25 Incredible. million, it really is. And now he's turned his hand to opera, appearing on <laughs> Pop Star to Opera Star. Before we chat to Andy, let's have a look at some Erasure classics. Welcome to the show, Andy Bell. How are you Thanks doing, mate? Let's nice shake your hand. And a lovely T-shirt. I'm a big you. fan of the Velvet Underground. Congratulations. Thank you. Pop star to opera star, mate. Yeah. What a fantastic experience it must be. It's great. I mean, I'm loving it. I, I, I feel like I'm back in school again. I mean, I didn't... I didn't, wasn't particularly good at music in school and mm. I can't read music, so I have to learn everything by ear, but having all those teachers and, you know, Catherine and Rolando on hand is really amazing. Mm. Yeah. So what treat. made you want to take part in the show in the first place? Uh, well, it's quite strange. I think a few years ago, I was thinking, oh, you know, it, it would be quite a good idea for, this, for a show, mm. for the actual show. And then, um, and then they asked me last year, and I couldn't do it last year because I was doing a solo project, and I was in New York, so I couldn't get back in time for the auditions. And then they asked me again, so I thought, well, I'm going to do it this time because it's mm. now or never, really. You know. Have you been surprised by your voice so far? Um, I've been quite surprised. I mean, with... Erasure, we're on tour at the moment and um, usually kind of after about three or four shows you know you either get colds or something or get mm. starts feeling a bit rough but this time I think it's put me in really good stead because we were doing kind of five weeks of rehearsals for the for the opera star program uh, before we actually started uh, touring so yeah. um, and people have said that my voice sounds really strong like on on stage in the audience and stuff you know so Definitely it's had an effect. Yeah. Well, you are doing very well, and let's take a look at you in action. <laughs> is it weird watching yourself back? Yeah, I don't usually uh, I don't usually watch myself back because um, I think I get too critical and yeah. I'm kind of even on the day I'm so nervous doing the program. I mean, you know, I'm hoping I might chill out a little bit because it's the th be the third week now. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't like to see myself because I'm very critical. What know. is it like uh, singing in a different language? That must be really difficult. Mm. It is quite tough. I mean, it's the way they write them as well. The way they've been written it is, it, they do, it's kind of tricky with the language on purpose. It's kind of like singing tongue twisters mm. but in a foreign language yeah. you know, and also getting the breath through right to the end and doing it in the right place. And the performance of it mm. as well. Put yeah, on the show. and the performance, um, that's kind of quite distracting, you know, when you're having to do other stuff as well, yeah. as far as I remember the words. But on that particular one, we were, uh, We'd uh, already was learning song two. We had that song to perform on that night, and they'd given us the choir song as well. And we'd done wow. five Erasure Thank shows, you. and I'd been coming back, fl you know, flying back and driving back and having rehearsals. So by that t program, I was completely frazzled, and my lungs felt like they were going to explode. explode. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I couldn't think of anything. That's why I fluffed up the line the line on that one song. Wow. So who do you think your main competition is? Uh, well, I think apart from Little Joe, who's, you know, f very high in the popular stakes, um, I, I, I would say Claire, because her voice is just, 
incredible, you know, and uh, I mean, Cheryl's voice is lovely as well, mm. but I think Claire's voice has just really blossomed. She, she looks the part. Yeah, you get the well, sense, I'm a big fan of the show, you get the sense that she's only going to get better when her nerves yeah. decrease. Yes, it sounds, she, it sounds like she, her voice has even matured during the show. Yeah. You know? But what is it like compared, uh, you're on the pop star to opera star stage, you're very con you know, controlled, you've got to do all these moves, you've got to remember all of the, mm. the, the techniques, etc. Compare that to Erasure, where you yeah. just go mental on stage, yeah. don't you? You just let loose. Yeah, well, pretty much. I, I think I'm quite punkish on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, some clips. Um, it was a clip in this week's show, wasn't it, where you d you had like a sparkly red jacket yeah, and you were letting yeah. loose. So. I, mean, I do throw myself around quite a bit on the stage, uh, so it is a bit like a marathon, I think, because also. Because as Vince, you know, he has all his synths are on computer, so mm. it's just Vince, myself, and two singers. So sometimes I feel a bit like a you've got to feel monkey the on a barrel organ. <laughs> yeah, so you've got to feel the whole stage, <laughs> and um, which I kind of feel like sort of put me in good stead for the opera, but the opera is a completely different mm. style of singing. Well, yeah, Rage has been hugely, hugely successful. I've got some stats here. 13 studio stats. albums. I do love a stat. Yeah, you do. 29 UK top 20 hits and total record sales well in excess of 25 million. That is one successful not bad at all. You must be proud of yourself. It's a lot. I am really proud of myself. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not really a very nostalgic person, you know, mm. and don't look back very much, but, um, uh, when we had the Pop 40 hits, which we're kind of, that's the Pop Hits tour now. That came out last year, I think. And I looked at this, it was like 40 hit singles, and I just thought like, my goodness, we've, we've written all these, and they've all been out, we've made videos for all of them, done tours yeah. for most of the albums. And I counted it's the, the shows, was like 700 shows and more that we've done. Really? And I thought, we must be one of the hardest working bands that's, in, that, you know, for, for in that yeah. amount of time. And you're on tour now, as you mentioned, and you've yeah. also got a new album coming out, Tomorrow's World, later in the year. What's that going to be like? Yeah. What's been your inspiration for um, that? Hopefully it's coming out in the autumn time, mm. and with a single before then. We had a great time, because it was written over about six months, and... We got to go to New York, do some writing there, in Vince's studio, he's got a log cabin in Maine where he lives, it's nice. right in the wilderness, in the middle of the pine forest. Oh lovely. So you get loads of bugs like attacking your neck <laughs> when you so go nice. to the studio. <laughs> and then uh, Frank Music, who did the production for us, we worked with him, I went Didn't to his studio. Didn't they work with the likes of Lady Gaga? Well, uh, Frank's a solo artist, but the guy that mi that's mixing it, Rob Orton, he, yeah. did, he did Lady Gaga and lots of other people. What I find very interesting yeah. is in 1985 when you joined Erasure you answered a, a, a notice in a paper or something didn't you? Yes it was in the, um, I think it's now defunct but it was Melody Maker and I was a huge Vince Clark fan and I was thinking because he had just disbanded Yazoo mm. and I was thinking maybe I should write Vince Clark a letter and see if he needs a new singer and then when I answered this advert it was for him and I thought oh this seems like a kind of kismet connection, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought I'd go down and really enjoy myself on the audition and, sit, you know, see what Vince thinks and otherwise have a good time. It's amazing. Yeah. It was you, obviously meant yeah. to be. Where, where do you yeah. think you'd be now if you didn't answer that ad? Well, if I didn't do that, I, I, I like to think that I would have joined another band mm. and, I, you know, I would be doing some kind of gig somewhere or in some uh, theatre you know, yeah. in the provinces it would or have somewhere. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, you know, because because my music, my passion for music is so strong. Mm. And know. I hope that takes you all the way on pop star to opera star. Good you. luck yeah. with the tour and the I'm album as well. You, Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right then, guys.